Here's another example of an artist that is on tour that took some time away from uh, the daily activities while they're on tour to be with us from wherever they are to wherever we are. And that's that's happening also for our next artist. She is an award-winning singer-songwriter. Megan B. writes with an unquenchable, unquenchable, that's a tough one to say, uh, wanderlust and a deep love for her land. Her 2022 album, Cottonwood, has been called as real as it gets, a raw and real telling of engaging, relatable stories. In No Depression, they wrote, no one has a greater sense of place than B. 14, superb vignettes sung in an unforgettable quiver of a voice. That's No Depression magazine. She's based in Athens, Ohio. Her music is influenced by the collision of Appalachian folk and modern songwriting. Megan will be at the Buttonwood Theater this Saturday, the 13th, if you're in the immediate area of Middletown, Connecticut. It's a lovely little venue, so run, don't walk to get your tickets. But let's do please welcome our final guest this evening, Megan B. Thank you for being with us. It's good to see you. And um, I'm going to have to ask you to unmute. There you go. There she is. I'm Megan. here. I'm here. <laughs> you are here. Thank From you wherever so you are. You're up in Maine that. right now. I'm in Maine right now. Thank you so much for having me. It's what a lovely night. Helene and Eli were just, it was, it's been amazing to be listening here. This is a, a song I wrote on a camping trip, and there's been a lot of camping on this tour. I'm, I'm into camping wherever I go. Cuckoo birds singing at the break of day hey, It feels like summer's gonna fly away So we're slowing it down Camping on the old musky Take your time, take your time with me The sun's so hot but the water's cold Take off your shoes, dip in your toes Ease on it no need to hurry take your time take your time with me down by the water underneath the sycamore trees take your time some ice and some lemonade we got each other we got no place else to be take your time take your time with me Thank you. It's lovely to be here. I'm in Rumford, Maine right now. I'm over at my friend Rick and Sherry's house. And uh, so they're watching on the big screen in the living room and I'm playing off to the side so they can see me in person and on the screen out there, which is 
been funny. Um, but I played, my friend Pete is here too, and he has a blueberry farm up here in Rumford and throws this great blueberry party every year. And there's, it's the pick in and pick and party. So we pick the blueberries and then we pick guitars. It's a really good, good time. And so I'm still up here. I've got some days off. So we're having a little hangout tonight. This has been a fun, a fun way to all get together and hang out again. And, um, yeah, I'm having a great time up here in Maine and uh, been doing some good hiking. I got to hike up a mountain yesterday in, in the rain and then the fog and been picking lots of blueberries. So, and I, so this tour, um, I've been all over the Northeast. I think that Eli, we've probably been passing like ships in the night out here and you're headed to Ohio, which is where I'm from. And, uh, yeah, so maybe our paths will cross sometime. But I put out a new album, it's called Cottonwood. So I'll play you some tunes from the new collection. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to figure out. What I've been missing I listen for the thunder I listen for the night bird I listen for melody I listen for the right words Take me down Take me in Turn me around Bring me home again If I'll ever return to what I used to be Cause I was a wild one The colors of a moth wing I was a summer sun I was heat and lightning And I was a cold rain I was a moonflower I was a summer night, I was a meteor shower Take me down, take me in Turn me around, bring me home again I've been waiting, waiting to see If I'll ever return to what I used to be Sweeping out the cupboards, trapping all the mice, shaking out the bugs in the middle of the night, digging through the boxes, pushing round the dirt, sorting through the papers. I'm still looking for the words. Take me. Y'all are so great. This tour has been great. It's been the longest run of shows I've had since the old pandemic started. And, uh, but I was, able, I was able to play a little bit, you know, just as a solo artist, a lot of venues 
were able to slip me in on the patio and put me far away from people. So I didn't do a whole lot of live streams during the pandemic. I just, you know, I really just love connecting with people in person. So if you want to, if you're on my tour route and want to come hang out in person this Friday, I'm playing in Portland at the Thirsty Pig. And then um, Bruce mentioned Saturday down in Connecticut at the Buttonwood Tree. And then I'm in Massachusetts and a couple places in Maryland and the DC area. And then finishing out in Virginia. And then I'm headed home and then I got a bunch of stuff around Ohio and West Virginia coming up. But all my shows are on my website. I'm sure that'll be shared in the chat there. Well, here's one. Uh, I do the, I'm in this writing group, this uh, Tuesday night writers group in my town. It's really great. We're really committed to meeting every week and writing a song every week. We do these quick and dirty challenges where we'll pick one theme or one word and then you have an hour to write a song with that theme or that word in it. And I like being pushed. I like being, um, I like when it's a little complicated and there's a deadline and there's other people. So there's accountability that pushes my writing in a lot of ways. And there's a time limit, so nobody's expecting anything great. And so uh, it's just an exercise. And I, I like that part of the creative process, just the fun of it and the exercise of it and not the, you know, brooding artist who's trying to make it perfect. I like, uh, I like to keep it a little loose and playful. And one week the word was fickle and that became the title of the song, and uh, this is for any of you who often feel a little indecisive. She is fickle, she is fumbling, she is finding her way through the puzzles, through the crosswords, through the thoughts in her brain. She always writes in pencil, never permanent ink. She is fickle, she is fumbling, she doesn't know what to think. She is careful, she is cautious, she is catching her breath. All the ropes and the tangles and knots in her head. She studies all the turns, never rushes around. She is careful, she is cautious, she doesn't get too tied down. And I love to watch her move, and I Never know where she's going to She is playful, she is patient She is placing her bets On the hand she's been dealt On the cards in the deck she laughs at her chances and she makes her bet small. She is playful, she is patient, she knows she can't win them all. But I love to watch her move and I never know where she's going. She is finding her way through the puzzles, through the crosswords, through the thoughts in her brain. She always writes in pencil, never permanent ink. She is fickle, she is 
she is fumbling, she doesn't know what to think. She is fickle, she is fumbling, she doesn't know what to think. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Well, there's a. I'll tell a story behind this one. You know, songs can come from anywhere. And I was reading a book. It's this historic novel called Follow the River. And it takes place in my neck of the woods in Ohio, down by the River Valley. And it's based on this true story of this woman, Mary Ingalls, who was living in Virginia in 1755. So um, there weren't really white settlers a whole lot farther west than that but she was living in this little village in Virginia and her town was raided she was invaded by this Shawnee tribe that comes from my neck of the woods in Ohio and uh, she was taken captive by this tribe and taken away from her home taken away from her family and taken by canoe to live with this tribe and they took her up the New River the Kanawha River and to the Ohio River. And so she ended up kind of in where modern day Portsmouth, Ohio is, if you know your Ohio geography. And she lived with this tribe as a captive and she was smart, she paid attention all along the journey and she knew, um, even though she'd never been there before, she'd never, there's no maps in this area, but she knew if she could follow these big rivers, she could make it home. Um, but she was on the north side of the river, so she would have to get across the river, so that was tricky. So she lived with this tribe for about six months, and then one day they took her down farther down the river, down south of what's modern Cincinnati, Ohio, so the far west end of Ohio. Now she's even farther from home, but they went on the south side of the river, and they were harvesting salt, and she was, you know, working for them as a slave, going out and harvesting salt from the ground. And she realized she was on the south side of the river and nobody was watching her at certain parts of the day. And if there ever was a chance to escape, that would be it. And she, she decided to do it. She decided to walk away. And she followed that river. This woman in the 1700s, just by herself, she had a blanket. She just walked and she followed the Ohio River all the way to the Kanawha, to the New River. And she made it home. Just walked all the way home and it was just this amazing story of I mean the human will to survive and that deep desire to want to be home and uh, I think also with any story that in any in anyone's life any challenge that we face any tough journey that we're on there's also that little bit of doubt of you know if you make it through something that challenging what will you be like on the other side? And will home really feel like home when you get there? So this one's called Fever. Dark eyes. 
When you look into my eyes, will you still see me? Thank you so much. I'm having too much fun. I'm not keeping track of time. Bruce, do I have time for one more? Or? Yeah, two more hours. It's, 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 it's amazing. No, it's not true at all. <laughs> Buckle <think> up. <laughs> fasten your seatbelts, boys and girls. You got about five minutes. It's really been a fantastic set. And I, I hear that you have a, a, a crowd of ringers, a, an audience of ringers, which I think is really cool. Yeah, I do. I have a room full of You guys, make some noise. Yeah. On demand. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually, it's great too. These folks I know from California. Um, and I started, um, I first fell in love with music and started picking up a guitar on travels around. I was traveling around the country working on organic farms. And somehow I ended up um, out in a desert wilderness around a campfire and met my friend Pete, who's here. And uh, there was just a bunch of musicians playing, and I was like, huh, that looks like fun. And uh, so it's really special to be out here with them. All right, I'll play this last one. Besides music, uh, my background's actually in environmental education, so a lot of trees and birds slip into my songs, and I've spent a lot of time hanging out with kids in the woods, getting kids out of classrooms and into the woods where they can study the world and feel it and see it at the same time and this tune comes from hanging out with kids in the woods and thank you so much everyone for being here and it's an honor to be part of this evening with Helene and Eli and thank you Bruce for having me Little rock, what you gonna do all day? Are you gonna hold 
somebody's memory Skip across the way and head out to the sea Be the firm foundation of somebody's house Lay in the ground, watch your plants and spread out What you gonna do, little rock? What you gonna do all day? Are you gonna so still? Are you gonna What you gonna do, little children? What you gonna do all day? What you gonna do, little children? What you gonna do all day? Are you gonna pick some berries and crack some nuts? Swallow some seeds and dig a worm up? Build you a nest of sticks and leaves? Sing a sweet song in the morning breeze? And drink some water and stand up tall? Change your color when it turns fall? Stretch your branches well high Dance in the breeze as it blows by And hold somebody's memory Skip across the waves, head out to the sea Be the firm foundation of somebody's house Lay in the ground, watch your plants can spread out What you gonna do, little children? What you gonna do all day? Are you gonna fly away? Are you gonna What you gonna do, little birdie? What you gonna do all day? What a great song. Thank, <laughs> you. Great song. Thank you. It's Megan B. Thank you.